Is your home an investment? Home is where the heart is, but is it an investment? Hi, I'm Jakob Kroblaub, the founder and managing director of Prosperity Enterprises. Should you buy the home that you live in, or is it better to rent? I would first like to start to talk about the difference between a primary residence and investment property. Your primary residence is primarily for you to live in. Even though it is a property that can appreciate in value, its primary objective is to give you a place to live and to fulfill your emotional needs. Even though a primary residence can appreciate in value, its primary objective is to give you shelter, a place to live, and it does not necessarily align with the traditional aims of investment. An investment property, on the other hand, is a property that you can rent out or that you can sell for a profit in the future. The late gratification has become a rare virtue these days and very few people can actually wait before they buy their dream home to live in. The problem, however, is that people spend so much on their home that they do not have any money left for investments or for investment property. And then they go further to justify it by saying, yes, but my home is an investment. I know this sounds cliche, but you have to live below your means. You need to make sure that you don't spend too much money on your home, that you cannot buy investment properties. So even though your home could appreciate in value, and even though there is benefit in having a home, don't spend more money on your home than what you should. Many people say that one should spend about three years salary on a home. I would go further and say no, rather spend two years of salary on a home and invest the rest of the money in investment property. Even though the primary objective of a home is not to generate a return for you, it can still be a good investment this is due to the fact that the um, property can appreciate in value. You can actually see capital growth on the property. Your home can offer financial security for you. It can become a place where you can build up equity that can become a great part of your net worth. Then there is, of course, the tax benefits. With acquiring a property correctly in an entity and renting it from your entity, there are actually a lot of expenses that you can deduct, which in other words are tax deductible expenses, which can offer you great tax benefits. And then lastly, it can be an inflation hedge. It can protect you against inflation. If we sit with severe inflation, you can rest assured that your property is probably going to increase in value with inflation and thus protect you against the weakening of hard currency. Then there are many reasons why one would say that your home is not an investment. The first point would be that it's a non-liquid asset. It's money tied up that is actually very difficult for you to access. Secondly, there are maintenance costs. A home costs a lot to maintain and to keep in good condition. And those costs can become exorbitant. There's the market risk. Property doesn't always appreciate in value. And then there's of course the opportunity cost. The fact that you can, with the money that you are spending on your home, make significantly better investments and maybe buy significantly better investment properties. So is it wise to own the property that you live in? Well, for me there are three benefits besides the fact that you are sitting with an asset that can appreciate in value. Firstly, is when you rent this property from your property company, you don't have to pay commission to a rental agent. So that commission which you would have paid on another investment property, you can actually save, which can increase your rental yield. Secondly, you don't have to be concerned about bad tenants because you are your own tenant. So you don't have to be concerned that you are sitting with tenants that might damage your place or tenants that is not going to pay you. And then thirdly, any improvement that you make on the property for your lifestyle is also adding value to the property. So the questions I want you to ask if you are buying a home are the following. Can I afford this property? Can I afford the rent that I need to pay on this property to my entity? 
And that is a very, very important question because if you cannot afford the property, you shouldn't even think of acquiring that property. And you should also not just, just be able to afford the property, you should comfortably be able to afford the property. And then the second question that I want you to ask is, is this a good investment? Is there either capital appreciation potential or can this property generate a good rental yield for you? And if the answer is yes to those two questions, it makes sense to acquire this property as a home. If your answer is no to either one of those questions, it's probably better for you to rent. There's a new trend where a lot of property investors actually rent the property that they live in. They own a lot of properties, but they don't own the property that they live in. They rent their home and own investment properties. And the reason why they do that is because the investment properties generate better capital appreciation and generate better rental yield, so a better overall return on investment. And they pay rent, which is significantly lower on your higher cost properties than what it would cost to pay the bond and the levies and the rates and the maintenance and everything on a property. So they'd rather rent that property and use all of that extra cash that they are saving to push it into investment property. A home can be considered an investment, especially if you look at the capital appreciation potential, the tax benefits, the financial security it creates, but it can also be a significant expense looking at what it costs to acquire a property, the levies, the rates and taxes, the maintenance on the property. So make sure when you buy a home that you've thoroughly done your homework and that it makes sense as an investment. Remember to click on the link in the comment section to book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me or to attend one of our seminars live near you. If you would like to receive more content like this, remember to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.